Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my most used toddler toys for two to three year olds. Uh, but if you're new here, my name is Abigail. I have a son called Samuel who is almost three years old and so these are the best toys, the, the most used toys for him between the ages of two and three. And with this video I've tried really hard not to put my personal bias on it. I've tried not to think what I think is a lovely, beautiful toy for him to have and to play with, but I've really just thought carefully what is the toy that he has gone towards when it's been on a free selection? What toy has he gone towards? What toy has he picked off the shelf first? What toy is he playing with every day over and over again? I've really tried to put my bias completely to one side, forget about Montessori, forget about everything, and just focus on what toys he actually has used the most. And so, yeah, I'm going to do this in reverse order, so stick around for number one so that you can see what his most used toy of all time pretty much is. Um, so let's get straight into it. Okay, at number five we have this little set right here. This is a pretend cake, as you can see. He has a lot of pretend play to um, things now, pretend foods and stuff, because he has really got into pretend play. I think I would say he's got into pretend play since the since the second half of two to three years. So this first half of two to three age, he, two to two and a half, he was not interested at all. And then he hit about two and a half and he was like, yes, pretend play is the best. So this cake is the best. It's one of these little ones that you cut and it's Velcro in between and then it's got candles on that you can take off. He just, he loves this thing so much. It was pretty cheap. I'll, I'll link everything down below, by the way, guys, if you want to check it out. Um, but it was so cheap and he loves it. Every time someone comes over, he has to cut him a piece of cake and give him a piece of cake. He thinks it's amazing. He's also just realised recently what a birthday is. And so he's really excited to pretend it's his birthday constantly. He thinks this is just amazing and pretend he gets presents. Just the whole realm of pretend play has opened up for him. And I would say this is definitely his most, number one most used out of all his pretend play. Um, he's got loads of vegetables, he's got loads of, he's got a toaster, he's got a teapot and tea set, which he, he likes all of them. But this is just this is just the number one at the moment and has been since he got it. So he really, really loves this one. Coming in at number four is the trip track track, I think that's what it's called. It's one of these little things if you haven't seen it before, I'm sure you have. It has a car and it goes down and it's on a stable surface and it's just great. This is a step up from like a ball run. This is a little bit more complicated, um, but it's still, still amazing. I will say that a lot of these toys can be for so many different ages. I have tried to put them away in my, out of my mind what should be for a two-year-old or a three-year-old, and I've just let him. Pl I've just chosen what I think he plays with the most. This definitely, definitely a favourite. Um, just so fun, just to put them all down, and we can like you can kind of race them. Put one here, put one here, and they kind of race. This is great for the traje tra trajectory schema. That's so hard to say, <laughs> and it's just yeah. My son loves movement, loves everything to do with it, and so this this is a great toy. His third most played with toy is a toy that you can introduce as early as babyhood um, when they're around about one year of age, I would say is ideal. And it is this little pop-up toy, which I'm sure you've seen in so many of my videos. So cheap and cheerful. Such a great, um, act uh, a great toy that kind of grows with your child because at first they just watch you pop them up because if you've not seen it before, they, they pop up. At first they just watch you pop them up, but it can kind of grow with them because, so when they're a baby, they watch you pop them up and they kind of chew on them. And then as they get a bit bigger, they learn to pop them up themselves. And then as they get even bigger to Samuel's age, they learn to match the colors in the right one. So Samuel loves, loves this so much. The kids that we had um, a family around recently with kids as well. And one of them was a year old on Samuel and one of them was one year old. They all love this toy, love to play with it. Just it's just a universally enjoyed toy. If you don't have this in your life, you really need to get this in your life. Samuel's second most played with toy this entire year has been his trusty tool set. Again, this is a very, very cheap set. Sometimes the cheap things are just the best and the most loved. This is such a cheap tool set that I got. That I got. Um, it's got, it comes with a saw, a little spanner, it comes with a hammer. It comes with one nail, but we managed to find another one somewhere else some of these little things to put on the side, some little screws and a screwdriver. Not, not the hugest set by any means, but definitely so well loved. He loves to bang on this. He will play with this 
so much. It's definitely been partly because we have been doing a lot of renovations over the last year, so he's seen my husband use tools a lot, and so he definitely wants to kind of play that out in his own playtime. But yeah, again, such a lovely little, really cheap, great little wooden toy. I really love this one, and Samuel loves it too. So when I sat down and thought to myself, I thought really hard about this, I thought, what is Samuel's number one most played with toy? Um, that he's basically, since he's been tiny, tiny, this is the most played with toy from babyhood right up to now and will be a played with toy forever. And it's such a basic toy, such a, maybe an obvious one in so many ways, and it is these little balls. Just a little pack of sensory balls. Such a versatile toy and so used. <laughs> he uses this so much. So they come with another ball, but I don't know where it's gone. This one is like a little germ type looking thing and it's great for babies for kids um, Noah's age I've got another son if you don't know called Noah who's five months old he loves to hold on to the little bits and he loves to chew on it that's a little great one for that and then just balls just throwing them around these ones are great because they're plastic um, and they're suitable for indoors I'll link them below if you guys want to check it out if you don't have them because I feel like almost everyone I know has these balls because they're just so good um, one thing I will say is they've got a little hole in them, so don't put them near water or in water because they might get mould inside them. But Samuel just plays with balls constantly, he throws them around, he throws them everywhere. They're just such, just the, they're just the best toy in my opinion. And they're not even really a toy, they're just balls. We have these ones and I think it's partly because they, these ones can be used indoors that I really like them. Because obviously a lot of balls can't be used indoors, but these are light enough that if they hit you in the head, they aren't going to hurt that much. And Samuel will definitely throw a ball at your head if you come to visit us. <laughs> so I just thought that was just, that was definitely the most used toy that we have. So those are the top five most used toys. And when I actually look at them now, they're also some of the cheapest toys that we own. So I just think the cheapest is the best. If you don't get your kids, if you don't need to get, if you don't get your child any other toy, your toddler, any other toy between the ages of two and three, you can look at some of these and maybe get some of these because they're just so well used and so well loved. So guys, I hope that video was interesting and helpful for you. I'd love to know what your guys' most used toys of the moment are, whether you've got a younger or an older toddler, let me know and I will check out your guys' recommendations as well because I'm always on the lookout for new toy recommendations. I think I enjoy looking for toy recommendations more than Samuel even enjoys playing with them. I just love looking at toys. I think it's so fascinating, all the amazing toys you can get these days. Um, I'll see you very soon in my next one, guys. Bye.